Hello and welcome back to a brand new episode of Unsung Hero. This week's hero is going to be Scoff. Remember that I featured him in a FIFA 19 episode and he was an absolute beast back then. Uh, he still has 3 star, 3 star, which I don't like, but his rest of his stats are really good. I put him in this team. Uh, I'm gonna play some uh, division rivals uh, with him, but let's see what this team can do. The first opponent has a pretty interesting looking Premier League slash La Liga hybrid, but I started the game pretty good. Chung on the side, gets the ball in, cro uh, in front of goal, scoffs there, stays calm like he's supposed to do and great start for him. After 5 minutes already scores a goal, great start from Scoff. Also, uh, pretty. Uh, I wanted to shoot first time but that didn't work so okay. Then here uh, Scott McTommy got, makes a great run, scores an easy goal, 2-0. I love Scott McTominay, probably my favorite player this year in FIFA. Uh, I think he can do basically anything on the midfield. Uh, here he scores a pretty good, great goal with Mane. Can't really stop him when he runs into space and then he finishes. Uh, Kickoff goals are still a thing, not as big of a thing as they were in uh, FIFA 19, I believe, because uh, I don't really score them that much anymore. And I don't really concede them that much anymore. This is, by the way, 100% a foul from Scoff. If you look at uh, when De La is making his run, Scoff basically pushes over the other guy and then he can easily score a goal. So yeah, that's a foul, but okay. And here Scoff shows what he can do when you put him in a striker. He's really strong and also he can dribble pretty good as you can see here. And he scores an easy goal, 4-1, uh, a hat-trick from Scoff in his first game. Probably the best debut I had this year in Unsung Hero. Game ends 4-1. Uh, like I said, great start from Scoff. Uh, I was I was really really liking this team. Felt really uh, composed and uh, Delafeo really really nice uh, in his first game. But let's see what the, what uh, happens in the second game. Second game come up against the Premier League side without any special cards. I always fear people like this, and my fears were right because after 20 minutes he scores a goal. Then uh, with just a bit later he gets the ball to Lucas Moura. Uh, I don't know why I don't defend better, but he scores the 2-1. Uh, here I scored the 2-1 with a player with horrible shooting stats. So uh, when that happened, I, I, I knew I wasn't winning this game. Because if people like that need to score a goal for me, then you know we're in deep trouble. And he was really destroying me with his Rashford, with uh, the pace of Rashford and Aubameyang. Completely destroying. And here I was just sick and tired of it. Uh, take him out with Lindelof. That's 100% a penalty. Record might be a bit harsh, but I can understand because he was uh, true on goal. Uh, so for the next game, I need to find someone else for uh, Lindelof. I will use Bai. No surprise, he's also. And then uh, he does a Panenka to uh, yeah, even destroy me more. And here it just shows what a kind of game it is. He takes the ball away from me, needs two passes to get in front of my goal, and make it 6 1. I got absolutely destroyed in this game, guy was just way better than me, but I couldn't finish the episode on a, on a, on a game like this. So I, I did another game, I bought Mbabu and like I said, I changed Lindelof for a Bailly, not that it really matters that much. I come across this team, he's definitely doing some challenges because uh, no one in their right mind plays with these players, but the game starts off really bad. I mean, how does Zabitza get the ball there? There are two of my defenders there. And yeah, them here shows why you should never, never let him in front of goal. Uh, the first goal he scored pretty lucky. Then here I uh, put a lot of pressure on him. Chung gets the ball back and he makes a great goal. 1-1 after 21 minutes. Makes a bit of a mistake with his keeper. But I uh, actually capitalize on it for once and uh, don't miss the opportunity. Here, uh, so some calm, composed football. Uh, De La Feo, great action. Then this, I don't find it a penalty. Uh, he gets a red card because he already had a yellow one. But I don't think that's a penalty. Uh, he tackles me to block the shot, not to actually tackle me. And it's not like he hinders me because I've, I've taken the shot already. So I don't really think there's a penalty. Then a bit later, still in the first half, uh, he didn't uh, put in any other center back. So I had a lot of room. Here Paco Alcácer gets the ball to Luke Shaw of all people, reaches them again. He can't finish because he just got lucky one time and then Luke Shaw makes a goal. Rebound goals are bullshit so I apologize for it. But why does my CDM always get in front of goal? 
he can't finish anything, so uh, it's really weird. Then uh, I want to make a substitution, but my opponent decides uh, to quit. I can understand why. Skov had a goal and, and not really much else, but I felt like in this game you could probably score more than, than just a one goal. So I end the episode on a, on a positive note. Uh, we end with a win. Uh, what can I say about Skov? I feel like he's, he's a little less good. Than, uh, than he was in FIFA 19. If you play him up as striker, he's still really good because he's fast, strong, and a pretty good dribbler for uh, one for a person he said. And I don't really like a lot of the, the strikers that the Bundesliga has to offer. So if you want to play him like that, yeah, he's, he's really good. But that's going to be all for this week's episode of Unsung Hero. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the episode. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.